So I think it's this kind of exercise is kind of also questioning the hypothesis or the reason why you think you should go to this potential market. You start to questioning it and kind of validate it. Um, um, you might have the answer to most of them, but sometimes you probably need to do a bit of desk research um, to understand, you know, like the thing I talk about regulations or any things that you need to figure out to say, okay, if we go to in the market with our products, then what does that mean? It might be yeah. easy for one market. So for example, American company might um, in the industry that it's easy to go into Spanish market, for example. But actually mm. for the other company in the US that sell completely different products, it might be really hard for them if you go to the uh, Spanish market because it's yeah. a different things that they are targeting and, and behavior. So, yeah, so I think yeah. like kind of going step back to, uh, to look into a bigger picture of all the markets that you think about before you decide. I think that's one of the things. So you don't just invest something on just and then waste your money. We yeah, put a lot of effort and invest a lot of time and resources and money into it and then actually not gaining what yeah. you expected to gain. I mean, I love that, those axes you mentioned as well, you know, the potential versus the the effort involved because you're all about always thinking about potential that's the one that's going to drive you forward but the effort may be a lot smaller you know i think we've had experiences of uk companies launching in the netherlands like in holland is the first choice right very low potential but really similarly low effort and that can work very well in this you know very well for uk uk company going into europe so the big one then is always china isn't it that's the one that's the one with the most potential is seen as having the most potential so if you want to be a truly global company like China has to be on your radar, doesn't it? That's the one you you should go into first, or the should be your big goal, your long term goal should be China, shouldn't it? Um, I think that statement probably is true for, um, from what I have been observed in the industry and working with um, clients across um, the globe. Yeah, it probably was true like until five six years ago. Um, okay. so my time before that, like yeah. I be, I actually travel to the China a lot. Uh, I speak Mandarin, so that is kind of easy for me and my my mother tongue. And all companies like China, China, let's go and go understand. But in the last few years, I have to say it's the other way around. Well, two in two layer, two levels. One is I don't I don't get a lot of uh, clients saying we are going to China anymore, um, and they are actually exploring other markets. For example, the key ones now is India and Indonesia. Okay. You know, like Latin America is always one, yeah. like big ones. But, um, but if we talk about markets and um, India and Indonesia, big populations as well, potential development, um, more potentials in a lot of um, um, adoptions of um, technology and, and so on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, those are bigger markets now, um, people think. The other thing about China as well, I think more and more companies start to realize that it's quite a close ecosystem. I think there are two layers. One is close ecosystem in a way that um, it's quite hard to break into because they, they have their own market, very strong market. You talk about music, Spotify is not in there and I don't think they have intentions to go in um, anytime yeah. soon because they already have a lot of very, very strong music, audio streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. You talk about Uber or anything, like they already have DD, uh, Quieti, and you know, all this... Um, they already have everything that's very solid. They have Baidu, <laughs> Google, you know, all this. Yeah. So it's quite hard to break into now. And the other thing I observe is instead of going into China, now actually a lot of Chinese company wants to get out. How so they're actually expanding. Right? How do we get into Southeast Asia? How do we go into mm. Europe? Um, so I think I think trend has been changing slightly now. It's still a good market, a big market. Um, it's no doubt, but I think um, businesses have been looking into a different way. Um, okay. And so China's got that high potential, but high effort then, really? That's the difference. There's now it's there. become more and more effort. Yeah. High potential because just purely because of the population. But then if you look at population, Africa as a region is one, and then India itself as, and then Indonesia is a big market. So, yeah. And they have both potential, but the effort is a little less for India and Indonesia? Is that the sort of what you're saying? The, the effort involved in going there is easier? Not yeah, I would, in, in, in many ways, you still have a lot of efforts, right? Because you still yeah. have to break a lot of like, like different cultural yeah. uh, norms and nuances. But I think in terms of ecosystem-wise, and also I think 
um, legislation and regulations probably is another thing that oh, right. harder to get in. Oh, interesting. 